Hello everyone, my name is Bladus and today I will be showing you um, my nuclear um, the nuclear reactor setup. Um, so in here you can already see that it's a huge amount of uranium cells. <coughs> um, this one gives like I think about 3400 no yeah, I will see at the end of the video. So, I'll first I'll just show you like the things which I have set up here, and then I'll turn it on, and then you'll see what happens. So, I just have like my nuclear reactor here with only five chambers instead of six. So, five chambers over here, <coughs> and then I have a HV transformer over here because this one is putting out extreme voltages. Um, so transforming to high voltage and then going into all of these currently empty MFSUs which will emit a redstone signal if uh, if they are full so then this line here will light up and the torch is going to be off which triggers the uh, nuclear reactor to turn off uh, but this uh, thermometer here will also turn the reactor off when um, the, uh, the temperature reaches a point of 2000, I think it's degrees or Kelvin, I don't know, 200 units, 2000 units. And here I just have my general power switch. <coughs> so when I um, flick this lever, this line is going to turn like normal again, like uh, off. And this um, transmitter is going to give me a signal to all the way over here. I don't need shit this lever anymore. Uh, all the way over here, which will trigger this timer to start turning at a speed of 1.6 seconds. Um, this uh, timer will um, trigger all these block bra breaks here to turn on and also uh, on the top this is basically just this thing over here but then above it so I have two rows of two rows of block breakers here top and bottom and then a lot of cobble cobblestone generators um, like below oops that's my Skype let me put myself on busy yes okay <laughs> okay sorry about that so then this again this timer is going to start spinning and then over here we have cobblestone um, turning into ice you can get this ice by like compressing snowballs I guess and then you get this ice over here I have just four ice and ten cobblestone in this filter because Otherwise, this one is going to be um, full, and then cobblestone will start like going all the ways, and things are going to get messy. So I have 12 eyes in here, 12 eyes which will go into the reactor whenever one disappears here. So when everything is full, then this will won't send any eyes. That's like the big, the good thing about putting pneumatic tubes and redstone red red power things um so yeah let me turn it to day and then boot the machine or the nuclear reactor there we go so now it's on um you can see it's consuming ice over here and here ice is coming in just like that um I think I have to make it like you have to play a little bit with it but no it's fine now sometimes like in especially in the beginning this one will eat a little bit of ice while the ice is traveling so um this will basically never reach 2000 and sometimes it does but that it's a sign that your ice is gone um, you can do it with six stacks of ice, but I like to be <laughs> like a little bit safer, and I added a seventh 
stack of ice just to keep it cool enough. Um, so yeah, if I go ahead and spawn me a, a thermometer and a U reader, then we can see it has like 1600, 1500, like really it never reaches 2000 only if you like have only five stacks of ice in it <coughs> so um, the total EU this thing is giving me is um, yeah 3500 EU per tick so let me just just wait a second now Take wait some time you can even, like look into these. That's a lot of EU coming in. Five hundred. Like this one is all has already about one million inside of it. So yeah, this good. This fills up really quick. Um. So yeah, let's click it again. So the average is about three thousand five hundred EU per tick. So that's ridiculously much. You can run a lot of machines just having one of these. So yeah guys, that's that's this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.